Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending June 1st, 2018. We get to continue the trend of new anime announcements. We got, get this, six new anime coming. Pretty exciting. Uh, let's start with the high concept anime of the bunch. The Promised Neverland starts out as a sweet slice of life story about kids in an orphanage. Isn't that nice? Until you see the numbers tattooed on each kid's neck. It's probably not a spoiler to reveal that the kids are headed for a less than sweet fate unless they do something about it. If you don't want to wait until the anime's premiere, which will be all the way in January, you can find the manga in English, digitally, and in print through Viz. So keep an eye out there. So let's 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 do something a little lighter, shall we? Uh, let's move on to the announcement uh, that's the most, well, anime of the lot. Girly Air Force by Koji Natsumi tells a weird science fiction story. Aliens invade, they're unstoppable, blah, blah, blah. So mankind does the most reasonable thing and creates a bunch of fighter jets that happen to look and behave exactly like cute girls. No news on air date, but it will be animated at the anime studio Satellite. So... Keep an eye out for that one. While well, we're talking about cute shows, uh, Kaguya-sama Love is War focuses on the two highest ranked genius students at a prestigious school who have, of course, fallen in love. The twist is that they're basically both tsunderes. Their only option is to figure out a way for the to make the other person confess first. No word on when the anime is coming, but the manga sure is popular, already nine volumes and 100 chapters long, with several million copies sold. So definitely, they're definitely pushing that one. <clears throat> the sports genre will see some activity as well. Feel the Wind turns its camera on an unusual aspect of Japanese culture you may not be aware of, foot races. The Hakone Ekiden is one of the most popular, and like this is a real thing, it's a two-day relay race run over a 135-mile course that's broadcast on national television. This, like, really happens. Feel the Wind is about two boyfriends, uh, boy friends, totally no BL implications whatsoever. Yeah, but it's about them deciding to run the race together as part of the relay. So, that's coming. Uh, separately, do you like Pop Team Epic? I honestly don't get it, but it's obviously popular. To nobody's surprise, it's getting a second season. Unfortunately, we don't know anything else about it. That said, can we ever truly be prepared for a season of Pop Team Epic? I don't know. Uh, the final anime announcement for this week is a bit weird. Um, it's an adaptation of Joshiochi, A Girl Fell from the Second Floor, which is an adult manga, but here's the thing. They're going to produce two versions of it. One will be an etchy anime and broadcast on TV, while the other will be not work safe and only available streaming. The story concept starts with a young man living in a ratty apartment, where one night a woman literally falls through his ceiling onto his bed, onto the roof into his bed, and wacky hijinks ensue. So that is coming at some point. Um, why not? Finally, if you like rock music, uh, and the rock music specifically of The Pillows, which was featured in Furry Curry, as well as Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad, and Moonlight Mile, but you may live in the U.S., good news. Adult Swim is sponsoring a U.S. tour of The Pillows. They'll be in Massachusetts, New York, Washington, Oregon, and California in July. Check their website for details. That's the news. See you next week. Have a good week.